In this video, we're going to check out the database merging plugin from WP Vivid. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm creating in this channel video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So let's talk about why you may need a plugin like that, the database merging plugin. Let's say that we have a website that it's live and it's working. People can visit, people can buy stuff from that. It doesn't matter what kind of website it is but it's live and it's working fine. Now, the client asks us if we can create some changes, if we can make some changes. Maybe we change something from the home page or another page, or we can change something more advanced from the template, the archive template, the blog template, or the product template, the single product template, I don't know, somewhere into the website. And we want to take a clone of that website and work in a different environment because we want to make some changes and we want then for the client to see those changes and once those changes are ready then we're going to push that in the live website this is something that we are used to work this is the workflow that we used to do so we take that and we work into the staging environment of the website that we have in order to do all the tests that we need now i'm talking about changes into the actually data of the website. I'm not talking about uh, changing the PHP or updating the uh, plugins or the WordPress or the theme. If you want to do that, then you don't need uh, this plugin, the database merging. You just go clone the website, make the updates, see if the website is working and then do the updates in the live site as well. You don't need to, to work with this plugin. This plugin is going to work if you want to make actually changes into the data of the website. So from the moment we took the clone of the website, we took the data of the live website and we start working into the staging environment, the website, the actually live website was still in the air and was still taking visitors, was still uh, making sales because they sell products or the authors and the people that write articles are going to go and upload new posts and they actually engage with the content change into the live environment but in the other hand you work you still work with the staging environment and you now are ready after a day or some hours to push all the changes that you made into the live website now if you push everything then you will erase all the things that happened once you took the backup from the live environment everything that you sold or ever article that you changed or edit or upload will be lost so this is the problem and this is how the database merging plugin is going to help us it will just going to upload all the changes that we did and we're not going to lose any data from the cells or from the blogs or any other things that we changed uh, once the website was working now uh, i will put the link for this uh, page into the description below you can uh, visit and read all about that and also we have here another page that says how you can use this plugin of course we're going to test that in this uh, video and i want you to keep in mind that this is the beta so it's not actually something that you can work now uh, into a live environment also if you're going to use something like that even if it, when it's out of beta take a backup Always take a backup if you're going to push and change the database because you want to be sure that everything's going to work. Maybe it's one on a million or in a thousand. I don't know the percentage that may go and do something wrong and your website is not working anymore. So please take a backup before doing anything. Always do that. Now, as you can see right here, it says as a thank you, you will get a beta tester 40% discount when the beta ends. Now, let's see the website that we're going to work with. This is the actual website. This is the live website. I'm calling it live. This is the vivid1.stratostutorials.com uh, and I have cloned the website into the this address. Keep in mind that the plugin doesn't really care how you clone the website. Maybe you use the feature from the hosting environment. If the hosting environment has a cloning feature, then you can use that. If you can grab a backup and then uh, go and put it in your local environment, then do that. If you can use a plugin, a staging plugin, uh, and create a backup of the website, do that as well. You don't have to use a specific plugin in order to do that. You can use any plugin you want or any method you want in order to create the clone uh, version of the actual website. So after you do all that, then comes the need of this plugin. So we're going to go into the uh, plugins here for the live environment first. And I'm going to activate that. This is the one, WPVV database merging. Of course, you don't have to actually have the WPVV backup plugin, but 
it serves a purpose if you have we will see it so let's activate that and once it's activated we will see now the wp vivid merging i'm going to click that and i'm going to land here now here we can set the site as a development site or as a production site as it says here production means that this is the live website and development means that this is where we're doing the test the clone version or the staging environment I would like those options to be better uh, said here uh, so you can identify them easier so uh, write something like a production and then into parentheses live and into the development site write something like clone or staging or something like that and also I would like those to be opposite the production on top and the development bottom because this is how the workflow is going to be you're going to go into the production you're going to grab a code then you're going into the development and then you're going to paste the code there so I would like that to be on top let's go and set that as a production and hit apply once we do that we will see now that we have only one option and only thing we can do is grab here the code and copy that and keep it in our clipboard in order to paste that somewhere else of course we can regenerate in order to connect another website or something different that just to generate another uh, key as it says here also we can go and grab a snapshot as you can see here this will use the uh, wp vivid database snapshot plugin and this is required in order to go to go and create a snapshot let's go back and here we have the settings and you can change some settings if you want but i would i think that this is more if you have a problem with your actually uh, migration if you have a problem then you can go and contact the support and then maybe you can change some things and play with those now once we're ready from here and let's go back to the production side we can go into this side which is the staging environment and we can activate this plugin the wpvv database merging again and then go into here and i'm going to set this uh, side as a development i'm going to hit apply and the screen reloads like this now also here I would like something different I would like here to be uh, the production site not yet set to be like red or something so it separates from the others and I would know that this is the step that remains to click here and connect uh, the production site to this one also you can see that this is not a button that you can press because this is not connected yet so I would like that to be on red so I know that this is the step that missing let's click here paste the code and then click connect once you do that it will connect and now it says that you can sync the development with the production as you can see here also it says that development side is this one and the production side the live side is this one as you can see so everything is looking good so what i need to do now is go and click this button that says create a database recording task i'm going to click that also you can create a snapshot for the development and then go and create the uh, database recording just to take a backup if you want to sync back to the backup again this is for the development uh, this is for this one side this is for the uh, staging environment okay now it says the task one which is recording now it's enabled and it says the time that it started and as you can see the seconds that have passed and the records that are queries recorded and everything else you can see here now what I would like to do is go and change the name of the task one I would like here to say something different instead of task one uh, this is professional that are going to work with this plugin most professionals so they would like to uh, write down everything in order to know what we're doing so we're going to leave it as it is and we're going into the front page of the uh, clone website we're going to edit that with Elementor And let's wait for that to open. And now that it's open, I'm going to click here and I'm going to change this title to data. Data from migration. From staging. And I'm going to update. So we go and make all the changes that we want into the archive template, into the single template, into the blog template or the product template, whatever we want to change. Of course, uh, if we do a page and we change a page here into the staging environment, there is no point on going into the live, the actual website and change there a page, the same page there. Uh, do not do that. Those uh, changes will not be kept once you're merged. 
all the things that you changed were going to be copied, but if you're going to change the same pages, then what's the point of taking the actually clone? Okay, I think it's pretty logical, but I want to uh, just put it uh, out. Okay, now that we have done that, I can go and refresh for the staging environment, and here we will see that says the data from staging. Let's close that, and now let's go into the live website, and here, since it's working, someone can go and purchase a product. So let's go and click here, and let's go and add that to cart, view cart, let's go and proceed to checkout, and here first name is Stratos, last name Stratos, United States, street address Stratos, town Stratos, I have my own town, yes, California, zip code 11122, the phone 111222, okay, please do not call that phone number, and then we have the uh, pay cash upon delivery, yeah, that's correct, and place order, so now the order is placed, and someone go, someone went and bought a product, if I go now into the WooCommerce and orders, I will see that the, uh, this is something that we did, we sell a product if i go into the post i can go and add a new post and then i can go and write something down like a test one or stratos again because i do like my name and let's go for stratos or test or something like that and then test here okay publish that publish and let's go back to the wordpress and let's go into the posts and we have that post here if i go into the staging environment i will see that i don't have anything like a post in here, like a Stratos post, we have those two posts, and if I go into the WooCommerce and orders, I will see that I don't have anything inside here, of course. Okay, now we can go back into the uh, WP Vivid Merging, and keep in mind that I haven't kept that open, you don't have to keep it open all the time, you can close that and go and make all the changes that you want. Uh, if you come back here and refresh the page, it doesn't mean that you need to do that, but you can do that. You will see that now it says 106 requires recorded and one file was added. Okay, uh, something that says that this has done already. So now I can go and say that I want to merge that into the production side. And once I'm okay, I can go and click the merge now. Of course, you can also create a snapshot to the production side, to the live side, if you want, but I would do that uh, into the production side uh, directly, not from here in most cases. Okay, let's click the merge now, and this will actually push everything from the staging environment to the live website. So let's wait for that. And of course, the uh, take the time that it will take depends on how many changes you have made and how good is your speed if you are going to work from the local environment or how good are the servers that you're hosting the two websites. Let's wait. It's 68. Okay, I don't want to pause the video, it actually takes a little bit of seconds, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure that it takes more, less than 30 seconds, so I'm going to wait. 75%, and as you can see, you can also see the changes that they are made, okay, upload this. So it took the uh, database that actually were changed, and then now it's extraction that to the actual website. So merging changes to the production site completed successfully, I'm going to press OK here. And now it refreshed, it says task one merged. Again, I don't have anything to change the task one. I don't know what the task one is and I want to change that. Please do that. <laughs> okay, and if I go to the logs, I can see now that I have some uh, database synchronized and database merging here. Okay, after that, I'm going into this one and I'm going to go into the home page, and I will see now that it says da data from staging or data. And if I go into the post and refresh the post here, I'm going to see that the Stratos post is here, as you can see, and also for the WooCommerce and orders, one order is actually here as well. So nothing has changed uh, uh, for the WooCommerce orders, nothing has changed for the post, so you can work with the live environment, of course not change the same pages, and you can also do uh, everything that you want to change into the production site. Now, one thing that I would also like to say is this button, which will sync the development database with the production site, and this will means pull from the actual website, from the live website, to the staging. And this would also be 
Uh, I would like that to be more clear, that this will pull all the things from the live into the staging. And I think this is how it should really say pull and push, which pull means uh, grab the data from the live, push means push the, the changes to the live. So after that, I can complete this, uh, I can do the same uh, process again, so I can create another database record task, and I can go and make some changes after that. Once it's loaded, it says now task two, and now I can go and go into the other pages that I have and make some other pages and uh, other, other changes as well. And once I'm ready, I can go here and I can select now uh, to push those into the production side. As you can see, it's very easy, but be careful not to mess things up because you are actually working in a different environment and you're going to push some things into the live website. So always take the backups that you need. So that was all with this plugin and how it works. I think that this is something that was missing from the WordPress environment. Uh, before that, we, we used to take the uh, things that we did and make the changes into the staging environment and then go into the live environment and do the changes again by hand because we know what we did and we want, uh, we want to do those things into the live environment as well. So that what, what we did uh, when we didn't mess up with the uh, sales and the posts and everything else. But now that we have this website, I think that this is something uh, very good to have, especially if you're working with clients and you have uh, websites that you want to adjust. So that was all with the video, guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.